For two days, in terrible conditions, lifeboat crews have been searching. Looking for 18-year-old Harry Martin, who went missing in the tidal surge. The photography student was last seen taking pictures of the storm on a coastal path near Plymouth. Today, rescue teams were joined by some of his friends. We've been searching for quite a while and hopefully we'll find some good news. And yeah, just for everyone, is like prayers go out to his family and everything. He's, he's a village lad, he's part of the community and this is when communities come together to help each other. Britain's coastal clear-up is going to take some time. This was Aberystwyth pounded again this morning. Tyrone Davis can't believe what it's done to his beachfront gym. There are now stones and seaweed among the running machines. It's ruined everything. This is the second time it's happened now in the last three months. Mm, so, yeah, as you can see, the power of the sea is so strong. Despite repeated warnings, there have been more stories today about people getting too close to the sea. In Aberystwyth, lifeboat teams rescued a man who'd gone onto a jetty to take photos. And in Cornwall, police pulled a man from the tide after he was seen swimming in Newquay. He was taken to hospital. This isn't the sea, but it's starting to look like it. Miles inland, the Somerset levels are filling with water. This afternoon, extra pumping equipment arrived. Once this kit is all in place, it should take about a tonne of water off the moor every second and pump it there into the river. But local people just wish it had happened sooner. Catch, good boy. Well done. Come on. On their farm nearby, the Sadler family fear the pumps have got here too late. They're taking precautions now and are expecting to be flooded. It's coming in about a metre an hour. This morning when we woke up, there was still a bit of green out there. It's now tracking closer to the house, closer to the village, closer to properties. You panic. Everybody panics because it's you can't stop water. You can't once it's flowing, you can't stop it. The pumps may be on, but some people here feel their situation has been ignored and the authorities have focused too much on the coastline. The Somerset levels might be used to flooding, but with yet more rain to come, they're still nervous here tonight. And those concerns are unlikely to be eased by the latest forecasts. The Met Office telling us tonight that that big storm that's caused chaos on the east side of the United States is going to hit us here tomorrow. It's not going to fall here as snow and as ice like they've had on the other side of the Atlantic, although it will feel colder. It's going to fall here as more heavy rain. And you can see why people here are worried. So expect more warnings from the Environment Agency and more disruption in the days to come.